quorum. Madam Clerk, will you call the roll? Harry Adams. Here. Brittany Graham. Here. Shaq Graham. Here. David Gearhart. Rick Hughes. Here. BD Nunnery. Josh Turner. Here. Donald. Here. Shag, you're up. Let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father, thank you for the grace that you present to us. Thank you for the words that you give us to lean on. Give us the strength, the guidance, and the wisdom to use those words in the veterans of this community. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. 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 <coughs> so I want to stand for the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, visitors. I'm always first. Yes, you're right. <laughs> all right, I was just letting you guys know how things were going for the month. Um, we're actually bringing in three new boarders this week. I had one stop today. The other two are supposed to be in by Sunday. Um, we have kids camp next week. Um, I'm going to bring a flyer to Sharon and she's going to put it on the Facebook page and stuff. Um, our next show will be the weekend of uh, 4th of July weekend and it will be a two day show. And that's, that's about it. Okay. You're up. Uh, I'm just here to talk about what we discussed passing a law about dogs and hot cars gonna get hot July August is gonna be miserable you're gonna have people that don't have better common sense we need to do something to protect these animals in our city limits I mean we can't protect them across the state but as a community we can say it's not gonna to be tolerated here well, like I said there's obviously state issues that go with that but you would like for us to be a little more detailed on what can and can't happen as it stands right now Kentucky has, as a state does not have any laws protecting animals whatsoever now, just animal cruelty. Animal, just animal cruelty, yeah. right. But there's nothing in that that pertains to a hot car. As of right now, I could take my dog, put it in a car, and at 110 degrees outside, which within 15 minutes would be 140 degrees. A dog's internal temperature is 99.1 to 101.3 degrees. So any temperature above that, no matter how much the dog pants, no matter what kind of cute haircut it has, it cannot cool itself down. So the only thing you can do to me is you know, write me up, send me to court. If the dog dies, the dog dies. There's nothing we can do about it. Now, as because at Kentucky as a state does not have any laws, you, even as a mayor, cannot say, well, okay, my guys are going to bust the windows. Okay, I'm the mayor. I'm going to bust your window. But you can make it to where it is not allowed. There is a fine. If people have to pay that fine and go to court, and it's a burden and it's a problem. Number one, the city should benefit from that stupidity. We can use that money to better this city. And those people are going to realize that we're not going to tolerate it. If there's a fine behind it, money talks. And, and people are going to feel that effect. So, I mean, I think if we as a city start it, it's going to be a ripple effect. If we stand up and say we're first, we care, what are you going to do about it? What uh, city's anything on it? Uh, was the lady I'm sure, sure they do. The, the, and, and, and she's right. There's nothing specifically in the state that says you can't have a dog in a hot car. Um, but there is animal cruelty, and that is a criminal action. And they can be arrested for animal cruelty if they obviously see a dog in distress and there's no owner, just like you can't leave a child in the car. But it's much stricter on the child. The city can go stricter than the state. We can't go. We can't be less than the state. Right. So, so it, I can look to League of Cities. You're, you're going to have an issue with how long were they left. It, 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 are you asking them to make it a crime to leave a dog in a car unattended? Most cities and other states, obviously not Kentucky, the law is if you see it, you take your phone and you take a picture, that way it's time stamped, and then you call 911. Picture first, time stamped, and then 911. I can look into it. I mean, I, obviously, I'm for it. I think it'd be great, but I, 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 I ha, I, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure, other than the cruelty to animals, how we would address it. Unless we got some type of civil fine, because the police has to come out and take action, I would see that would be an option for us. 
And at that point, we couldn't find them. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Throw, throw smoking in cars with children in there, too. What is the yeah. animal cruelty? Is it a exactly. misdemeanor? It, it, depends. it depends on what you do. It depends if it's a if it's a hurt. It depends if it's a damage. For them to really How many? Really affect the, the dog or cat would have to die in the state of Kentucky. And that's that's not a city or county issue like our state as a whole. That dog could you be able to kill animals without a death. Right. Yeah. But it's but a misdemeanor. It's, it, 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 if, if it's just one animal, it's very light. It actually starts out a violation in this matter. Mm -hmm. So it, it does start as a violation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So why don't we do this? Um, let um, Jennifer get a hold of uh, Kentucky League of Cities. Sure. I'm actually going to be with them. Um, we we're going to call into them anyway. So. Yeah. So uh, we'll out. touch base with them. We'll see sure. what, what parameters we can operate in. And maybe by the next meeting, we wouldn't have it ready, have an ordinance ready, and we'll get out there by the review in time. <coughs> I don't see a problem with that. I, I have no issues with that. Great idea. Yeah. Any other general public? Kevin? Mary? <laughs> okay. Uh, that takes care of visitors and public comments. No other visitors. Approval of bills. So moved. I have a motion to need a second. Second. I have a second discussion. Being no discussion, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? And it passes. Approval of 520 of 19 minutes. I'll make that motion. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. All opposed? One of the days I'm just going to say I'll oppose yeah. first just to throw it back. <laughs> Um, I mean, I'm yeah. <laughs> Unfinished business. Second reading of ordinance number 04 2019. And that's a budget. Yep. An ordinance adopting the City of Prestonburg, Kentucky annual budget for fiscal year July 1, 2019 through June 30, 2020 by estimated revenues and resources and appropriated funds for the operation of city government. I need a motion to approve. I'll that in a motion. I have a motion. Need a second. Second. Discussion. All right. There being no discussion, we have to do a roll call vote. Perry right. Adams. Yes. Brittany Branham. Yes. Shag Branham. Yes. Rick Hughes. Yes. Josh Turner. Yes. Don Wilkes. Yes. All right. Now it passes. So we have a budget for next year, way in advance of what we need to have it. So that's a good thing. Other unfinished business. You may have anything you want to discuss. I saw the strict steel structure was gone. Oh yeah. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. A good lick for us. Thank you very much. A very good lick for us. And uh, we're going to be bringing the other one up. We're going to try to inventory what we have on the other one on the hill. It's been set up there forever, and we'll get out of here all his way. Uh, but we don't know for sure what's still there. What about that old log cabin that's sitting up there? We actually may have a plan for that. The uh, tourism, give it to the city of Prestonburg, mm -hmm. and we're looking at maybe doing something on one of the uh, trails on the rail trail. Uh, have it sent out there as a rest area. Mm -hmm. The place to get out of the weather would be nice. Mm -hmm. Because it's easily accessible to a vehicle and be easy for us to get up there. Yeah. Oh, it's just rocks in there. Yeah, well it's it's already gone. It was, it's a two story. We will make one story out of it without any problems on mm -hmm. Any other unfinished business? New business, declare surplus property. As you guys can see we have the utility bed that was on squad six with F D. We have a welder from Public Works. We have a three-cylinder engine from Public Works. A 2009 Ford F465, the old recycling truck. That's actually like a 450. Is it a 450? I don't know where the 65 come from. Hot. They don't. <coughs> You're fine. But it's, it, it's actually a 450. Okay, 450. <laughs> and then we have lots 27 through 31 at Stonecrest. Lot 31 appraised for 25,000. Plus 27 through 30 appraised for 40,000 as a combined total. Got a map of where that's at? Yeah, where it's, where are those? it's the last one on the right before you go up the hill to the golf course. You go, you got the, uh, okay. you got the uh, townhouses. Oh, those real small ones. And those on the right. Yeah. So yeah, so these townhouses on the left, these townhouses on the right. Those little small ones there on the yeah, right hand side. Right hand side. Yeah. yeah, there's a total. There's actually a total of uh, about where the speed bump is. Yeah, right yeah. there. Well, what's left of it? Yeah. There's four lots there, and it would take somebody buying all of them to be able to do anything. But like I
like I said, three of them appraised for 40,000, the one, 31, which is the one closest to the townhouse, is appraised for 40,000, or 25,000. We're going to total of 65,000 right there. How long were those lots? How long? Description. Size was. Now that I can tell you, I need you to call I found in the appraisal report I'll send you to you. <coughs> is this going online with the other stuff or just to what are you doing with this? With property, it might be better for us to try to do it locally, I think, and see what happens, maybe even with a realtor and pay the 6%. But we can do it online too. Let's, let's do it first time online. Let's research it, see if it's all right. Cause we can. Yeah, we, we, we're doing better on it. We're not, you know, it doesn't cost anything to do it. I'm all for it. I mean, I like online. I mean, you get a bigger it, it, your audience on I, I, I honestly don't know if there's a difference between personal and real property, if you can, if you can do that, but I'll check. Okay. I tell you what, we can, uh, we, we just like prove that first. We can prove it in a motion. <laughs> if we can put the real property on there, yeah. we put it online first. If not, we'll go ahead and turn it over to our local realtor. Mm -hmm. So somebody can make a motion with that. Got it. Did you get it, Sharon? Yep. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, all opposed. Under KRS. 61.810 subsection 1 subsection C litigation. And subsection one, subsection B, business. We need to go into executive session if I get someone to make that motion. A motion is second. I have a second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, all opposed. I don't think this is going to take long. <laughs>